All righty. What's up, gang? Just wanted to say, yo, I am working with a supreme, supreme ghetto setup over here. I am uh, balancing the phone between two cups right now, so um, bear with me if a couple of things go awry. Uh, if some of y'all wanted to see the tutorial for this, I was going to wait until I got home, but um, yeah, whatever, dude. I'll just kind of put this up right now, or maybe this will go live when I go home. This is basically a four-bot combiner consisting of all four uh, current fossilizers. Uh, one P-Trex, one Rack, one Wing, and one uh, Spin now. And um, looking at this, you can probably pull that off, pull this off with just uh, two Paleotrexes um, as well. But um, the spindle head certainly kind of gives them this like um, this cool kind of like cone head, like hood vibe, like feature or something like that. And so, um, so yeah, here's the entire bot, and there's one more piece, and this is the crossbow. Uh, this can holster on his back. And uh, it's kind of blurry right now, but it can holster on his back or you can put it on his hand. But um, I'm just going to move it out of shot right now. So I'll do a quick 3-6 of this guy. Uh, some of this might get a little bit blurry. You know, my phone doesn't have autofocus on it. And so bear with me. Um, and so I don't have a turntable either. So, yeah. So check it out. You can see there's a lot of wing finger just hanging out on the back pretty much as a backpack. And other than uh, this little spear over here. So, yeah, a lot of wing just chilling on the back. Uh, as the backpack and uh, but it's all right. It's not too outlandish uh, I don't think and um, I'm just gonna be oops. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry super screech just gonna be super frank with y'all in that this guy um, He's a little bit um, Spindly um, I, I, I guess like there's a lot of bits that want to come off So there was a ton a ton of paper used to um, strengthen up a lot of the holds a lot of the joints and things like that and um, namely, it's from uh, this chest over here. I mean, one, there's a little bit of mold degradation on spindle as it is. And plus, the parts are a little bit um, gummier than Paleotrex. Uh, I don't know if you uh, if you own spindle, you might know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, so there was a lot of like reinforcement work that had to be done. And so um, if I take him apart, um, and which I will during this video, I'm probably not going to put him back. So take him all in right now. Y'all see the way it is, right? And so... Cool. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get with it. So I'm going to start taking apart the easy bits first. And so, uh, you know what? Let me just move them off shot. And um, let me actually show you the crossbow first. Uh, I'm going to bring things up a little bit close. So let me just adjust the, the focus, Danielson. Okay. So this is the crossbow. And this is basically the ractonite hip connected to the spindle uh, lower jaw, which is the torso, basically. Um, and then we have the two tail bits at the end to kind of uh, mimic the arms of the crossbow. Uh, the Paleotrex head, because he's going to shoot out uh, like rocket punch, kind of rocket punchy. And on the bottom, we have the um, the wing finger combined head, uh, just because didn't have anywhere else to put it. And this will plug into his fist. Okay, so I'm going to move that to the side. Now, going back to the main bot over here, we are going to remove his weapons uh, first. So, oh, don't fall. Yeah. So anyway, here is the bot, um, as is. Yeah. He's a little bit hunched over right now. There we go. Yeah. So that's the bot. Can I get a better focus? Yeah, a little bit better. There we go. So that's the bot without any of the weapons. And you can see he doesn't have fists, but it's all good. You know, I mean, they're just ports and you're plugging in the weapons anyway. So, um, yeah, and I can do a much better 3.6 without all of those things. And so, all right, let me move them to the side. This over here, this giant weapon is out of focus. This is the ractonite uh, body, obviously, with tail plugged in. And on the bottom side, we have the wing finger um, dino skull plugged in. And that peg right there, that's going to be where you plug in the hand. And it's going to help offset the, the, the weight and um, it's going to act as this giant like shield and also like double spear thing. So we're going to move that to the side as well. For his axe, we have the spindle uh, spine bit, the spindly bit connected to the rack um, hip connector, the hips by itself. And, and that's going to be the axe. OK, so we're going to move that aside. So now back to the bot, the blurry, blurry bot. Let me kind of put him back in focus. Cool. Yeah, I'm doing the best I can with the light setup, but I mean, it's a little bit jank, but it's all good. It's all good. So in terms of the lower half, um, I'm just going to pop that off and uh, remove it from the top half. And you're going to see that this is just the Paleotrex axe bit. Um, you have to use this one and not uh, spindles because um, eh, maybe you could use spindles. No, but then 
they're slightly different. They're slightly different. And uh, when you watch my um, spindle preview, which uh, I don't know if it'll come before or after this, you, you, you'll see what I'm talking about, okay? So anyway, we're going to pop that off the top. And yeah, inside you can see there's a little piece of paper. I had to strengthen that. So this bottom part, this bottom part is basically that axe bit. And then we are using the two big rack legs, plugging the heels into the uh, waist area and then bending the legs down so they become the thighs. And then each of the paleotrex and spindle thighs are, gonna, are going to become the calves and then the feet. And you can fold them, fold them like so, right? And then that back part that protrudes, you plug that into the small rack foot because that's going to be the stabilizer on the ground, like so. You plug in the small rack foot, and then you plug in the um, paleotrex claw to the side. And then, uh, yeah, I think I hear uh, thunder outside, you know. And then you um, you plug that into the back of the rack foot where the plug is, and then that's very very secure. And you can see right over here the the spindle foot has already come apart because they they decrease the size of the mushroom pe mushroom peg, and uh, there's mold degradation, and that thing just does not like to stay in there. You look at it funny, and it'll pop off. One of my chief complaints actually of the spindle figure, the design is great, but the materials and just the tolerances and stuff, uh, they need to do better QC on that. But that's the lower half, okay. Oh boy, oh boy, the top part. Oh boy, the top part. Um, all right, we're gonna just take off the arms first. And so this is just one Paleotrex like claw thing. And you have the buckler plugged in as the front to become kind of like the shoulder socket or the shoulder uh, point, whatever, the pauldron. Bend that down, then you plug in the calf like so. Same thing, on, oh, did you see that? There we go, see, I had to put in a piece of paper right there to, to get the hold to stick because, dude, the tolerances are just horrible. And again, they're using this gummy plastic that I do not like. Um, the spindle foot, the claw foot, and then we have the calf down here, buckler, uh, same deal, all right, same deal. So now this thing, whew, whew, all righty then. Uh, where to start, where to start, where to start. Um, okay, okay. So I'm just going to peel off this wing finger that's like, dude, this is almost the entire wing finger body basically as the back. So what we're going to do is you can see that it's connected here and it's connected here. It's connected here and it's connected here. Those are the four points basically. So if you unlock them, the whole thing is going to kind of come apart. So we'll unlock that one. We'll unlock that one. Okay, it already came apart. Um, was, was that it? Yeah, I guess that's it. I guess that's it, yeah. And so, you know what? I think I originally had it like this, but it doesn't matter. So you basically undo those, and that's giving a little bit of tension, because you're going to see that once I start pulling these things off, the head's going to become very, very loose. And um, see how this... This is the, the, the wing finger forearm. It's plugged in. The two wing finger forearms are plugged into the side of the Paleotrex skull. And then you bend down the hands, the wrists of the wing finger. And, the, and then you're plugging in these calf bits um, into, the, into the hand sockets. And so, here, let me... Oh, okay, there we go. So you see how that's formed? This is the lower half of the wing finger, right? Then you plug in the two wing thighs to the top. You have one of them plugged into the hands, the, the wing finger claw thing. Sorry, guys, I'm getting a little flustered because um, this is just a lot to, lot to um, describe. And then on the front, you bend this down. Then you, you plug this in basically into the, um, the frilly part of the Paleotrex tail and the spindle tail. And then, you know, because that's a male peg, that's a male peg. That's how you get everything connected over here. And then, like I said, it's these two parts. And then you're cinching this thing into the into the side of the Paleotrex um, dino skull. Yeah. And then you can see right here, this is just a rack, the rack um, dino face with the jaw open. 
jaw down like this and the spindle head plugged in. It's kind of cool actually because um, the mouth just rests on top of the back. So it just, I don't know, it almost looks like this like cool crest by itself. Um, but yeah. And so, yeah, you do it like so. Got it? Got it? Because I just realized I'm going to have to put this guy back together because I didn't take any pictures for Insta. Um, so you would do it like this. And then basically get this guy back over here. I'm not going to do it on camera right now. But you would get that connected there. And then that creates all sorts of tension in it. Like it holds it in place basically. Then after that you plug in the lower half and the arms. And pretty much you're good to go. I hope that was good enough for y'all to uh, follow along. And again sorry this is just the, the ghetto fab um, camera setup that I got going over here. But you know whatever. And so um, that is it. Huh? Huh? So I uh, hope you have enjoyed that tutorial. Hope that you were um, able to make it, that, that, that you, you're able to kind of understand what I was trying to do and that the instructions came through. And uh, something like that. I'm not going to put them back or there's this piece of paper flying everywhere. Yeah, so I got to figure all this, all this stuff out in the back, but um, I'll, I'll I'll do that off camera. But this will just basically plug in, like so. There's all sorts of clearance issues going on. Yo, I hear all this crazy thunder and lightning. Anyway, I'm gonna do this later. I will talk to y'all very very soon. Y'all have fun with spindle if you have them. If not, you can do like I said, double paleo tricks, rack and wing. I will talk to y'all next time. All right, bye. How do I stop this?